What's up, guys? It's the Doza, and we are back here on the DozaCraft SMP server. And today, um, I'm going to be doing a lot more work on the ores in this cave. And uh, today's video honestly might be kind of short. I have something really cool to show you guys today, and you guys probably already know what that is. Whoops, had to burp. <laughs> you probably already know what that is because of the title of the video. But uh, that's going to be the only clip I'm going to do today. I was going to do another clip where I was getting everybody's Christmas presents ready and hide them and stuff, but I have so much footage on my computer right now that uh, usually when I record, the audio gets corrupt, as you might have noticed in yesterday's video. Yesterday's video got really screwed up. Um, so I'm trying to avoid that today. I'm hoping the audio doesn't get corrupt on this clip, um, but I needed to do, to do this just so I could segue into uh, everything else I got going on. Um, I made a new helmet, by the way. For some reason, I can't repair my helmet. Uh, wait, is there something different on this one? No? It's the same thing. Oh, it just doesn't have any durability taken away. Um, I used to be able to, since this is named, I used to be able to repair it. Um, but I'm not able to now, so I had to make a, another bucket. Luckily, I have a bunch of books. And I uh, actually bought a few books from Grutz. Um, but yeah, uh, so today we're just going to get into just this clip. And uh, probably be a short video today because I actually end the video out on this clip. Um, so let's just jump right into it. I hope you guys don't mind if it's a shorter video today. I typically like to do long videos just because I can get a lot done and uh, it's just fun. I like sitting here and talking on on camera and talking to you guys while I do stuff. Ah, it's so high. I have to jump every time I place a block. <laughs> Alright, well I'm going to continue putting these ores through the tunnel and let's take it over to my house where I have found a couple witches. Alright guys, so um, I'm a little leggy right now, but I had to hit record really quick because um, my pick just broke. I was down doing that haste to efficiency 5 mining, and uh, on my way back, I was coming back at night, and I just ran into these two witches. And I remember a long time ago, I actually made two witches fight. And they'll throw potions at each other, but they have regeneration, so they won't actually kill each other. So this is potential for an infinite fight. But I'm talking quick because I'm worried that they might get close to my basement and uh, actually, you know, hit, have the potion hit one of my villagers down there and kill it. So I'm going to try to go in there. I'm going to try to get some name tags and name them. And then I'm going to try to get them in a minecart. And I'm hoping if I get them in the minecart that it won't cause them to stop fighting each other or, you know, turn their attention on me or something. So I'll be back. I'm, I'm in a panic. i got to make sure my villagers are safe. Okay, these two guys seem to be safe. They don't seem to be like they're taking any damage. But I did find this little guy here. And uh, he damn near gave me a heart attack. Luckily, he can't reach them, but that's a problem. I need to figure out where he's spawning from and make sure he doesn't show up again. Once in a while, you can hear the splashes from the potions up there. And I'm assuming that means they're still there. So I'm going to try to get a couple name tags and name them. Actually, I'm going to try to get a cart first, and then I'm going to name them. And if I do all that, I'll be back with you. Okay, so I managed to get them into carts, and they were still fighting each other. It didn't, it didn't make them aggressive towards me or anything. Um, and then I logged out, uh, to restart my computer to try to fix my leg and everything. And when I came back, they weren't fighting each other anymore. Their attention was off each other. So I actually had to run in between them really quick, um, just to make them hit each other again. So that's something we're gonna have to keep in mind that we, when I log out or maybe even in unloaded chunks, they might, uh, stop fighting each other. So... We have to keep that in mind, and I have an idea of where I want to put them. Um, I would put them in my basement somewhere, but I uh, I don't want them, you know, I don't want to walk through my basement and get hit by poison or something. So I have an idea of what I'm going to do with them. So I'm going to the uh, the what is it, what's it called the Mesa biome, which I'm assuming is this tunnel since it has the red sand and stuff and the clay. And uh, I need to get some red stained clay, or just some normal stained clay, and I'll dye it. Um, and I have an idea, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go get the stained clay. I made a new Efficiency 5 pickaxe, because I have all those books and I had some levels on me. Um, my first one broke, because I wasn't paying attention. I'm probably going to make a few of these Efficiency 5 pickaxes, and I'll probably name this one eventually as well. Um, so okay, I'm going to go get hardened clay. Hopefully some red is there too, and then I'll come back and I'll build it. And once it's done being built, and it's going to be hard moving them into the ring because i got to make sure they stay close enough together. And i also got to make sure they don't move inside the ring, 
which they shouldn't if I do it right. Um, and also got to think about logging out and they stop fighting each other, so they're probably going to put something somewhere where I can jump in the middle of them and make them hit each other. Uh, we'll figure that out. I'm going to go see if I can find some clay. Alright, I think I almost got enough red hardened clay. And while I'm here, I'm also getting just regular hardened clay just in case I need some um, some later time. I don't normally build with colored blocks, but if I did build with colored blocks, it would definitely be clay blocks. Because wool just seems impractical, you know what I mean? Um, so I have just about three stacks of red and uh, f just, you know, about four, just over four stacks of this regular stuff. Grab a little bit more, and then we're going to head back over there. And uh, I just want to say that this idea I have, I think it's great. And I think you guys will love it. Oh, speaking of which, hello, ma'am. Hi. Uh, sorry, you can't join the Eternal Fight. Um, which is exactly what it's going to be. I think I mentioned that already, but I was talking really quick because I was in a hurry. But let, me, let me just explain it a little bit, if you don't mind. Um, witches, you know, they throw potions. They throw poison and damage and slowness, and I think that's probably it. But they also have a natural regeneration to them, uh, meaning they're always buffed with regeneration. That's why they're kind of a little bit difficult to kill. They can take some hits. Um, so, them throwing the occasional damage potion at each other isn't actually hurting them very much, and the the poison they throw doesn't do anything, and the slowness is no big deal. So, theoretically, they will sit there and fight there forever, but the only problem is, uh, is this thing with, uh, logging out, and they stop fighting each other. That's kind of a problem. So, we'll figure that out. I've never really looked at a Mesa biome before. Well, this place is cool. Like, you can get a lot more colors than just what you see. It seems like the further you dig underground, like, the more stuff you find. And I don't know what to do with this red sand yet. It's kind of no big deal to me. Alright, well, I'm going to head back to my place, get building on this thing. Um, I didn't do anything about it in creative. I just thought about what I want to do, and I have a slight idea of how I want to do it. So I'm just going to do it, and it should look, should look alright. So I'll see you back at my place. Okay, so here we go. This is what I built. And it's a boxing ring, because I figure that's appropriate. If it's going to be a, a battle of eternity with no winner, it has to be two champions. And uh, I'll show you what I named him. I don't know if I can see it from here. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get hit. We got Muhammad Ali right here in this corner. Muhammad Ali. And in this corner. Can I see it? Ugh. Can you see it? I can't see it either. Crap. Uh, we can actually break this just for a second. In this corner, Mike Tyson. So now we will have an eternal battle of Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali. And I guess me and Grutz are going to get in the ring. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I didn't realize I could actually just stand in here. Um, I might put some red carpets down on the floor just to make it look kind of a little bit better. And uh, in the middle of the ring, I actually have a ladder that goes down to a room underneath the ring with a hatch on top. And uh, the idea was, since uh, since uh, they stop fighting when you unload the chunks, um, you have to pop up in the center and get their attention, so they throw some potions. But I found out that they don't actually start attacking each other unless they throw that damage potion. Um, so you got to get them to throw that, too. So, this is what I got. I got I got the fighting ring, and I got the two champions, Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty freaking cool. Uh, where's that at? Um, I took so much damage trying to get these guys in here. Actually, almost... Oh, is he hitting me? Actually, <laughs> knocked me out of the ring. Actually, almost died a couple times, because they hit with that poison, and the poison brings you way down. And then they hit with the damage and the slowness. And just, just trying to push them into here, up the track, was more of a pain in the ass than you could even imagine. Um, but I got them in here. I actually had to make some regeneration potions. <laughs> because they were kicking my ass so much. Uh, but yeah, it, it was... It worked out finally. It took a while. Here's that track. I had to break the track right there so they stopped going backwards. Because I get them partway up this hill. And of course I had more dirt going up to here, but... Um, I had them go up that hill, and then they go back through me, and then go all the way back to the end. 
and that was really frustrating, but I finally got it. Um, I think he even said out loud at one point that this is a pain in my ass, or, you know, some other obscenities as well. Uh, a creeper blew up here. I told Gress to come over here and check out their names, and uh, I guess he got too close and exploded. Uh, gotta get another wood block, put it down there. Um, and we should be dealing with less lag a little bit from now on, a little bit less than the worst. I mean, it's still bad, but it's not the worst. And uh, I put an off switch on that uh, uh, the slime farm down there. And we will see that in tomorrow's episode. Nope, we will see that clip right now. I figured I would record this while I was doing it uh, just to get it on camera. But um, this is the beginning of the water flow. I'm actually underneath the whole um, slime farm. And I've been having a lot of a lot of slimes, obviously, but a lot of slimes also get backed up in here. And um, I do have more slimes than I know what to do with, more slime balls. You can hear I'm here up there. Um, but now I'm below it, and uh, I'm blocking off the water and putting some signs up. And uh, I'm going to just put a lava pit down here just so it kills them because I have plenty now. And uh, so, yeah, this is just the... Uh, the opposite of an efficient um, off switch. <laughs> so, blocking these guys off, we won't be seeing many slimes anymore. Uh, I can always turn it back on easily. Basically, all I gotta do is uh, put a few blocks down, a layer of blocks here, and remove that sign right there, and I can get it working again. So, this is gonna go for now. I'm actually gonna take the opportunity to uh, close out the video myself. We'll just let Doza work on that ton a little bit more. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, click that thumbs up. Hit the like button. Uh, that's the same thing. I meant to say leave a comment because I love hearing from you guys. Thank you for all the new subscriptions. And thumbs up for Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson, the two champions who will fight for eternity. So love, peace, and chicken grease. Peace the fuck out.